Well, joining us now on This is the Day is Father Christopher Hartley, who's the subject of this book right here, Slaves in Paradise, which is written by Jesus Garcia. It chronicles the advocacy of Father Hartley for sugarcane workers in the Dominican Republic. His ministry was also the subject of a documentary called The Price of Sugar. So thank you so much for being with us, Father. My pleasure. A great honor to be with you. Um, tell us, first of all, what was it like to have your ministry uh, documented in, in a documentary film? Well, one of the things I, I discovered while I was there as I began to speak out for the human labor rights of the uh, Haitian migrant workers uh, who lived in these little hamlets called Bateyes, dispersed in the sugarcane fields of the eastern part of the Dominican Republic, is that nobody could hear my voice as much as I could cry at the top of my lungs in the middle of a sugarcane field. But uh, through a series of extraordinary circumstances, uh, the media uh, got a hold of the story, and that first uh, through the Miami Herald, newspapers in Spain, who began to um, highlight uh, the plight of a priest in the middle of these uh, sugarcane fields on behalf of these thousands and thousands of men, women, and children smuggled into the Dominican Republic with the complicity of the military, the police, the immigration authorities, and uh, these three very rich families, the Fanjul family, based now in Florida, the Vicini family, who was the family that owned the plantations of my, uh, the sugarcane fields in my parish, and the Campoyo family. Um, I began to realize uh, the, the horrible plight, but it was when uh, the, the producer, um, Bill Haney, from Boston, by the way, and, um, and Tim Disney, from the Disney family, who had this uh, production company called uh, Uncommon Productions, got a wind of this, this story through the journalists, is when they decided to tell this story. And that was a before and an after. Then I realized the extraordinary power of the media that gave this incredibly powerful voice to my tiny, irrelevant voice in the middle of a sugarcane field. Uh, yeah, and, and that documentary spawned uh, this uh, Book, Slaves, uh, Slaves in Paradise. Absolutely. Uh, the forward is by Cardinal Sean O'Malley, Absolutely. our own bishop here in Boston. Um, could you talk to us about um, your work with, with the Haitians in the sugar plantations and what was that like and the conditions that they... I, I arrived in the Dominican Republic in September of 1997 and I was at the time the pastor of St. Patrick's Old Cathedral in New York City. So I was very, very poorly equipped to defend anybody's human rights because I didn't know what human rights were. Or I'd never had my human rights violated. I never had to defend them because uh, I never even was aware that I, I had them or that there were people who didn't have them. It was very slowly that I began to realize that my parishioners, therefore, that everything that I did for those 10 years in the Dominican Republic, I only did by virtue of being a Catholic priest. I did in the name of the Catholic Church. And I did because I was their shepherd, because I was their pastor. So when I was going out to these plantations to celebrate Mass with a portable mass kit under a mango tree, and I had all these half-naked Haitians at 4 o'clock in the afternoon singing their lungs out in the middle of their squalor and poverty, and I would say, the Mass has ended, go in peace. And I would ask them at the end of the Mass, before the final hymn, and what did you eat today so far? And they said nothing. I said, but... How can I, their shepherd, go back home, having had three wonderful square meals, drive back in my four-wheel drive to my parish and happily pretend that this is not happening to my parishioners? So I didn't go there because I was a member of an international organization or because I had communist ideas, as I was many times accused, or because I was a member of an uh, NGO. No, these were my parishioners, and their lives were unworthy of human beings and of Christians. And I realized that there was an incredibly rich doctrine of the Catholic Church. I was ordained a priest by His Holiness Pope John Paul II, now right. St. John Paul. And I remember he said in the homily of my ordination, I ask you, this is the Pope speaking to us on the day of our ordination, to commit yourselves to all the just causes of workers. He told us many other things like pray and say Mass and dress in your clerics and say the rosary. But those words stuck with me. But how did I know what those words were going to mean, what they were going to mean um, with the passage of time when I found myself in the middle of those sugarcane fields? But I would always like to emphasize I only did what I did as a priest. I did it because I was a shepherd and because they were 
the people of God that the church had entrusted me with. Yeah, and you touched on it too, that uh, it, it was hostile at times for Absolutely. you and, and a lot of people uh, you The know, last few years, um, I had many death threats, uh, anonymous letters, people would stone my house, and uh, the Dominican government um, decided that I, my life was at risk, so I had police protection, military protection, 24 hours a day. I couldn't go from my house to the church to celebrate even Mass if it wasn't with an armed uh, soldier with a rifle in his hand. If I would go out to the plantations, he had to be with me. Uh, the last, especially two or three years of my life in those sugarcane plantations was, was very hard and very frightening and, and very difficult. But I was absolutely determined that, come what may, through thick and thin, whatever it would cost, that I would never take a step back on behalf of, of these people. Because I would have somewhere to go. But they who had trusted me, their shepherd, where could they run away to if they were locked in those plantations, surrounded, guarded by men on horseback with a rifle, so that they would remain in the, in the plantations of the sugarcane fields as if they were slaves. So it wasn't fair that I could walk away to safety when they were doing the somersault without a safety net. Yeah, yeah. So the book is Slaves in Paradise. We have so much more to talk about. I wonder Absolutely. if we could uh, have you back and, and do a second It'd part of the interview. Thank you for having me. Uh, Father Christopher Hartley is his name. We're going to have him back do a second part to this interview right now that we send it back to the rest of This is the Day.